what's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix random crashes inside of Apex Legends. This video is, of course, targeted at Steam Apex Legends players, but of course, most of the fixes can carry across to the Origin version as well. Note that random crashes can be caused by literally anything, so the fixes we'll be trying are rather general and not necessarily targeted at specific things. If you recently installed software and now you're getting this issue, the simplest thing to do is to simply close them, try playing the game, or simply uninstall them temporarily and see if that fixes it. Programs that have overlays such as Discord or FPS monitoring software can also cause random crashes. Make sure that those are closed when playing the game as well. If you're still getting issues for some reason, there's a couple of fixes that we can try. First of all, if you haven't already, open up Steam, locate Apex Legends, right click, Properties, Local Files, and then click the Verify Integrity of Game Files button. This will run through all of the game's files, verify that they're correct, and if anything's found to be corrupt or missing, it'll download them and replace them. Then the next most obvious thing to do if you haven't already is to open up Windows Update and update your system if you haven't already. On top of that, make sure to download the latest drivers for your graphics card. If you're using NVIDIA, you can use either GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA website to update. If GeForce Experience is installed, it also has an overlay built into it. Head into the settings, general, and then make sure that the in-game overlay is disabled. I unfortunately can't show you as it's not installed. Then the final thing that we can try that is most likely to fix your issues before going into anything more targeted is to open up Steam, right-click Apex Legends, manage, and then click browse local files. Then a file browser will open inside of our game's directory. Inside of here, simply locate r5apex.exe, right-click on it, and click Properties. When this window opens up, head across to the Compatibility tab at the top, and then there's a couple of options that we'll check. Simply check Disable Full Screen Optimizations, Apply, OK, and try and play the game through Steam. If you're still getting issues, there are a couple of other buttons that we can take here. Heading back to Properties, Compatibility, let's go ahead and check Run This Program as Administrator as well. Note that if either Steam is running as admin or your game is running as admin, hotkeys for other software like OBS or Discord will cease to function unless those are also running as administrator, as the game will simply suck up all of the keys for itself running as admin. The last thing that you can try is running the game in compatibility mode either for Windows 8 or Windows 7. This, of course, will cause some FPS drops and possibly input latency in your game, but it may fix it completely. And of course, finally, if you haven't already, try lowering your graphic settings in-game and possibly playing around with VSync. Either enable it if it's not, or disable it if it's on. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!